Hello and welcome to our first and hopefully only classic episode. Uh, as you might be aware that I recently went on a family holiday and contracted calamari 19. So not feeling crash hot, um, hence why we're running an older episode. And there's no Blake and no Granny in this front. <laughs> Just frantically try to record something to keep your interest um, and give you a bit of background of why I chose this episode. So we... I, Granny and I uh, recorded this episode in July last year, so July 23, uh, surrounding the, the talk of the initial AI rollout. So we, we delved into chat GPT. I think we did mention a little bit about eBay rolling out their own AI systems, uh, which has since come to fruition in the sense of um, what we've seen with the algorithm and also the AI description generator. Um, I'll touch a little bit on that in a second, but we want to delve a little bit more into that and just give you a bit of an idea, a bit of a refresh of what we spoke about last year. And, and just to give you an idea, just to see if any of our predictions came true uh, over the last 12 months. As to the eBay AI, please make sure you use it sparingly or don't use it at all uh, would be my suggestion. I know a lot of other YouTubers have different opinions on that. Um, the reason, especially for new resellers, I don't particularly care about ones that are seasoned and know what they're doing. Anything that the the AI generates in eBay um, is the responsibility of the seller, right? So if there's information in that description that embellishes or is incorrect, uh, you're potentially opening yourself up for an high ad. So at very, very, very least, uh, make sure you have read of it, make sure it's correct. Um, you don't be overselling something that's not particular in pristine condition, what eBay's AI portrays. But anyway, we'll hopefully enjoy this episode and we'll be back next week with a fresh episode. Um, and until then, I'll go back to my deathbed and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hello and welcome back. Welcome back. I think we're on episode four now, Grumpy Granny. We are. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. I don't think I was going to last you that long. I don't think I could put <laughs> up with you, but here we are. Here we are indeed. Exactly. You, but, well, yeah. maybe I'm just an AI creation. For all well, you that's know. right. Well, that, that's exactly right. Little do people know we're actually taking this week off. This is completely AI generated. Exactly, it is. Yes, yes, yes. 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 So, see, the AI is quite quite impressive. Yeah, they've made a good looking <laughs> octopus and a not so good looking grandma. Oh, that's enough of that. That is uh, enough of that. Hey, hey you can't what in the, the what what pray tell in the world is that on your head? Well, a lot of old people, believe it or not, think that AI, AI, AI is going to overtake the world and read your mind. So I'm, I'm getting mm. ahead of the curve now and wearing my tinfoil hat. Right. Okay. Right. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's quite That's fashionable. What... In, it's quite fashionable. Fashionable in octopus circuses. Um, circuses. Right. <laughs> circles, I should say. Oh, circles, circuses. You know. Oh, no. Yeah. There we go. Oh, they can read my mind now. That's right. Yes. That lasted the hang whole on, 30 on. seconds. Am I getting something? Am I getting something? Oh, 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 yes. I think no, I know what you're getting. You're getting dementia, that's it. You're getting dementia. <laughs> <laughs> could be. Could well be, yes. yes. Oh, mm, looks like just the alien. I was going to say, it looks like the aliens will have to read my mind now because I'm not putting it back on. <laughs> oh, the dog's, the dog's going to try and steal oh, my, my tin. Yeah, it can't take him anywhere. Yeah, he's, patrolling so the, he's patrolling the Optolair. Yes, patrolling. he's very cute. Yes. Yeah, you can't take him anywhere. He doesn't no. know where he's going. He wants to be a social media star. Yeah, well, that could be it. He could be uh, wanting to to try and overthrow me like he did last week. He, um, <laughs> he, he looked at me. He looked at me the wrong way, and I decided to give him a bath. And I was a bit of a mutiny oh. after that. Mm. Oh, poor dog. Yes. 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 Well, he was long overdue. He hadn't had a bath for a fortnight, and he was a bit on the nose. A bit stinky. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so what's been happening? Well, it's been a busy week again. I've got my daughter and my grandson visiting at, at me, visiting with me at the moment, and uh, they're not here right right now because I kicked him out of the house while we did this. But um, yeah, so that's nice. But it sort of you know means I've got people that I have to look after. No, oh, okay, so. Mm. So it's a, it's a difference of them looking after you, I suppose. Yeah, the, the burden's on you opposed to the burden being on them for once. That's right, because I normally go and visit them, So and it's much better because, yeah, but when they're in my house, I have to, like, play hostess. Mm, mm, mm. Yes. Make, well... make cups of tea and all that sort of stuff. You've muted yourself. What are you doing? Shall I sing the balls of O'Leary while you're yeah, you on mute? Yeah, you could do. 
Yeah, it could be. I'm back now. I think I, I've had to move my microphone. So, right. Oh, sure now that, we well, that's what I meant to ask you. Have you got it close enough this week? I do indeed, actually. Like I've just moved it again because I just realised that it wasn't, you know, close enough to to where I was. That's so. Good. Hopefully, I'm, I'm coming through it. loud and clear this time. Yes, yes. So, what we're going to talk about today is actually uh, what we call it a generative AI, or what mm. a lot of people call Chat GPT and uh, AI imagery. So that's yes. our topic of the week. So without going too much into it, what's your initial thoughts on it? Oh, it's a bit of a worry, really. I mean, I, I guess because I'm in that older generation, you sort of think that it might be going to take over the world and, you know, mm. what mm. Yeah, what will come of us. Yeah, yeah, no, because I, I, I was wearing my tinfoil hat, but obviously I, I don't feel that way anymore because I'm all about the AI. And I, and I think oh, yeah, that, yeah. okay. Yeah, and I, I think that AI... It's probably here to stay. Like, yeah, you know, like I said, we'll get into a bit further later on. But I definitely think that, yeah, you probably want to be on the front foot with this kind of, you know, kind of thing coming through and just making sure that you, you know, you, you know how to use it and how to benefit your business and go from that way. Yeah, you're probably right. It is going to be here to stay. And yeah, I guess it's just a bit scary to think of some well i mean it's already embedded in a lot of things that you use so hmm. yeah for me it's just a little bit scary as to how far it's going to go well that's right but yeah it, it is what it is i suppose yeah there's no use worrying about things you can't change yeah that's true cool cool that cool. is so very if, true i suppose before we get into the to the nuts and bolts of ai and how it's going to take over the world and no doubt you know judgment day like terminator 2 <laughs> I think yep. we better better do a bit of introduction. So on my left or on my right, I haven't never worked this out, is Grumpy Granny. So she's from what's your YouTube channel again? Grumpy Granny Thrifts? Yeah, Grumpy Granny Granny Flipper. Flipper, that's right. Yeah. One day yes. I'll learn it. Yeah. You, you'll think one day <laughs> that I'll actually work out what's going on. Um, yeah, so she currently pumps out a couple of YouTube videos a year with her current trajectory. <laughs> I put out two this week. Thank you very much. Oh, did you? I'll, have to, I'll yes. have to go check them out. You will. Mm, mm. No, actually, what, what, well, yeah, I've put more out because I did two videos and I've done two shorts as well. No, look at that. Yeah, I suppose mm. you're speeding up in your old age. Well, I'm trying, to to get, I'm trying to get with the times, you know. That's right. Yeah, you you obviously try to speed things up, but you're not too happy about AI by the looks of it. <laughs> oh, you know, uh, it's a bit like when my grandson goes, ooh, because something scary mm, is happening. Mm. Mm. Well, that, that's exactly right. Like, it's just something that's not, you know, it's a bit different and everyone's got to get yeah. used to it. And, you know, like we were discussing previously is that eBay was, you know, new at one stage and look at what's come, yeah. so... Yeah, from that well, way. you know, like I've been through not having mobile phones and then all of a sudden there were mobile phones and, mm. you know, th there was all sorts of talk about holding the phone up to your ear and what that would do to you and, you know, mm. it's, mm. yeah. Mm. But you were around Things before change. toilet paper was invented as well, I heard. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, no. <laughs> not quite that old. No. I'm old, but I'm not quite not, that old. Not the stone and chisel kind of person. No, no, we have had toilet paper. I did used to ride the um, horse to school, though. Mm, mm. Mm, mm. Milk uh, the cow. Yeah. Yeah, I was about to say, wasn't it the, the fact that, yeah, 100 years ago that only rich people had cars and owned horses and now it's the other way around? Well, that, it, yeah, true. Yeah, that is, mm. yeah, it's a good point. Mm. And I suppose I better introduce myself, as if not anyone knows who I am. You know, I'm quite, I'm quite a popular <laughs> octopus, the world's only reselling octopus. In fact, the disgruntled octopus. Yeah, hopefully, if you're here, you know what my channel is, because I don't know <laughs> if otherwise. That's who I am, and yeah, you know, I do weekly YouTube videos in the format of a podcast or a vlog, as a lot of you cool kids like to say. Um, I host it with Crumpy Granny, and we talk about a, a vast range of topics that. Yeah, whatever floats our boat or it's a last-minute addition because we can't work out what we're going to talk about for the week. Um, as we move along, um, so make sure that you check out Grumpy Granny's channel, sign up to that, like, subscribe, and dislike all her videos for me. That'd be fantastic. Hey, 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 hey. I'll start yes. disliking yours. I know. Someone is. Someone. Oh, I think I have an arch nemesis out there. I think oh, it's do a, you? Yeah. So what's the go with that? If you if you've got, is, um, is like the algorithm of, you know, how popular your video is, is it just as popular if it's unpopular 
or if they like it or don't like it. Well, I'm not. I'm not too sure. I like, I'm pretty sure I'm mm. going to be topping, yeah, the the most disliked videos on YouTube any minute now with my one nemesis. <laughs> well, that's that's, but that's a third of your subscribers. You know, one well, out of three. That, that's exactly <laughs> right. That's exactly right. Only two likes, and I'm the other two. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I don't know what's going on there, but that's all right. Obviously, we've annoyed someone, which is you know most likely mm -hmm. a ponderous pufferfish. But we hey, it is what it is. You can't do anything about <laughs> it. it. So moving on to the back of our last week's video, which was yeah, phenomenal. It was really well received. Mm. A lot of people enjoyed it. Um, thanks again to John the reseller that was able yeah. to spend his time with us. Um, still in the dungeon somewhere. One day we'll perhaps let him out again. Um, well, I'm, I'm sure that the boys and girls could all actually see that it was a surprise for me because my mm. reaction was quite true. That's right. Yeah. So, like I said previously, is the octopus has got another couple of hostages lined up. It's a matter of just kidnapping them off the street with a white van. Um, so they'll be coming up in the coming weeks. So we're not going to run a guest every week. We might have a um, special guest appearance by a couple of the other resellers in the community that pop in and pop out um, throughout the shows. Um, but they'll be yeah as an ad hoc basis. So yeah, if they pop in. They pop in if they pop in, they don't pop in, vice versa. Well, but yeah, we do like to keep a, a bit of a surprise for everyone well, that's too. Right. Like, well, that's exactly whether right. Whether there's so. a guest or whether there's not, or you know, mm, mm, mm. yeah. So, but if we, if we do have like a, I suppose a, a headline hostage per se, we'll, we'll actually advertise in advance. So, yes, yeah, so, you know, yes. it's really hard to you know get away from the police, you know, kidnapping people off the streets. <laughs> <laughs> So yes, everyone, got, watch out for white vans and, you know, run when you see one. That's right, or ice cream vans. Keep away from them as well, as you said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, I actually it's, always equate that music from an ice cream van to a horror movie now. Mm, mm, yeah, mm. It's, it's always something that, yeah, I suppose that <laughs> I wouldn't want to be walking down a, a lonely street with an ice cream man rolling up behind me. Oh, definitely not. Definitely but no, not. But, but putting that out there, though, if you'd like to appear on the show, reach out to me directly through Instagram or leave a comment down below. And, you know, we, we like to keep it, you know, completely hidden from Grumpy Granny. So, you know, if you do leave a comment behind below, you'll be you'll be lucky because she's illiterate, so she can't read. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, yeah, just do that and we'll get in touch. And obviously, I'll... You know, if you're deemed worthy enough, I'll send the, the, the white van around to come pick you up. Yeah, um, from I, you know, I believe there's a bit of a vetting pro process, is there? Oh, not really. We just take who we can get. <laughs> 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 the, octop the octopus is not picky. But, yeah, that, that also extends to our international community as well. So, basically, if there is anyone out there, um, yeah, the white van can traverse water and traverse, you know, <laughs> uh, by all means, reach out to me. And, you know, we're more than happy to have you on the show. Yes, because the disgruntled octopus can travel through time and space. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. The, Bermuda, mm. the Bermuda Triangle works out quite well in that respect. It does. It does. So, yeah. So we're doing a couple of shout outs now to a couple of people that shared the video and you know gave us a bit of a plug on their channel. So we've got that dastly Blake, the life of a reseller. I, I don't know if you've heard of him before, Granny. You know, I have. A, um... I do. Yes. I watch, watch Life of a Reseller videos. Hello, mm, Blake. Mm. Like yeah, a bit of to a see all your little content you put out. A bit of a serial pass by the looks of it, you know, constantly <laughs> harassing us. I don't know what it is. I, I, think oh, more pal I think he'd be more palatable if he had a shave. He looks like abysmal facial hair. He has. He has had a shave. Oh, well, yes, he's still got the moustache, but he has, mm, yeah. Mm, mm. Mm. Yeah, no, he's no, now got no. really short hair and, yeah, all this. Yeah, yeah. He, should, he should leave his moustache back in the 70s, I think. <laughs> Maybe that's um, what he's going for. Oh, there could be. That's right. Well, if you hear some some ice cream music in the background, look out. Yeah. Well, yes. Oh, yes. That's right. We can't take these people anywhere. So then we've also got James Bold Finds UK. So basically, James yeah. is a UK reseller. Um, he's currently putting himself through a lot of mental anguish, doing a twenty four oh, yeah. hour live. Um, obviously, it'll be finished by the time of this, unless he just know how to count and he's still going four or five days later. So. <laughs> Uh, thanks for the, the shout out, James. Um, well, Granny and I were very happy to, to pop on your, your listing challenge a couple like through the night. <laughs> well, I don't think we we're welcomed or I don't think we we're invited, but hey, <laughs> <laughs> but we just jumped in anyway. Look, oh, and right. I actually I actually did go back and visit again this morning, our time 10 o'clock mm. our time, so it was one o'clock their time. 
1 a.m., I should say. And let me tell you, they were looking pretty ordinary by then. So they were, yeah, yeah they were doing it tough. Well, I, I put the leash on um, John, the reseller. We went in there a bit earlier before we started recording this. And um, I think it was about 3 o'clock in the morning, so 3 a.m. UK time yep. when we popped in there. And, yeah, I think he's going to start telling his friends that an octopus appeared on on, on his live. So I think they're going to probably think he's hallucinating. <laughs> They will definitely, yeah. yes. That's right. And yeah, so. an octopus and Mr. T with um, John's oh, that's haircut. Right. Yeah. Well, that's right. That's exactly right. So yeah, it, it's it's a bit crazy. Maybe it, like we we gave him that haircut in the in the dungeon. We just thought we'd give him a bit of a mix up. <laughs> he looked too he looked too prim and proper. So we gave him a bit of a yeah. Um, yeah. a shush up, I suppose you can you could yes. say. Yeah. So we've also got John the reseller for some reason. He keeps, you know, advertising his channel through us. Like, yeah, obviously he was a nobody before he came on here. Um, oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll just we, try to make him a We bit. have skyrocketed his social media presence. Hmm, 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 hmm. Yeah, so I wouldn't say that. I, I think that we've probably helped him more than he's helped us. I think we, we scraped off you know, 30 subscribers off the back of him. No doubt he's probably got 50,000 off us. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, by well, all, yes, yes. Well, hopefully, uh, well, hopefully, the ponderous puff of his moves onto his channel as well and starts disliking his content as well. <laughs> Perhaps he will. Yes. Well, that's right. Maybe. So then we've also got this seal furlong. I don't know about much about this guy. So he mm, apparently he gets a bit of a, a, a bit of a yes, young life. Chris. Well, that was a bit of a funny situation actually because he was doing mm. his live stream, and but it was coming through to me, and it was like sounded like he was underwater. And mm. I quite often have a bit of a joke with Chris when he says, is everything working right at the start of the live? And I'll say, no, I can't hear you. And he doesn't know whether I'm serious or not because one week we couldn't hear him. Mm. And so I'm saying, no, you sound like you're underwater. And so he thought I was only saying that so I could get an advert for the podcast, you know, mm. underwater, mm. the octopus. But I'd actually been twiddling with my audio settings on my computer. So it was all my fault. This, this is what happens when they're up the meds in the nursing home. You, you start <laughs> fiddling with things you shouldn't be fiddling with. Well, yeah, so, old people should stay away from technology probably. Well, that's what, yeah, the amount of times that I've tried to um, FaceTime, you know, Grandpa Octopus and Grandma Octopus and, you know, they've had their tentacles too close to the to the com computer. I don't know what's going on. So I mm. agree with that. So no technology for old people. Yep, yep. Yeah, so who also, we've also got oh, our international viewership. So we've actually had a few um, international people come in, especially from the US, like one of our, our new esteemed brethren or our lovable minions has come from Washington. Um, so uh, like I said to her, I'll have to go out there one day and visit her because the uh, Pacific Northwest oct uh, tree octopuses are out there. Oh, are they? Yeah, oh. so there's a, there's a species of... They live in trees. in trees? They do indeed. Yeah, they do. How does that work? Yes. Where they need to be underwater? Well, they got they got tentacles and climb up. Obviously, it's not rocket science, oh. you know. Yeah, so they're endangered. Oh, nice. yeah, like, they're endangered, so quite oh, a lot. Are they? they? Uh, one, one of, are they they're kind of like me, one of a kind. <laughs> okay. Are they very big or are they little? Oh, big as, big as they need to be, I suppose. <laughs> Great answer. Okay, moving no, that's on. Right. That's mm. right. So basically, uh, and our UK, we got some UK followers as well. So that we had some subscribers, and we um, apparently Grumpy Granny met someone that watched our show and obviously was very, uh, very confused because they said it was humorous. So I don't think that that's the word <laughs> I would describe to our show. But well, I like to think we give people a bit of a smile on their faces. Really? Yeah. Well. Well, I, I like to refer to our podcast as the you know, the fourth best you know, reselling content in the in Australia, or the fourth re best reselling podcast in Australia out of two podcasts that are currently here. At the moment. <laughs> so, so we're well and truly living up to our our name of the worst reselling podcast ever. Yeah, we so, are. Yeah, well, we that's, we that's, try hard to. Yeah, you know, what well, we we are try hard. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, like, I try hard not to. Yeah, you know, just bang my head against the wall, going, "How have we got to put it with Granny for another hour?" <laughs> oh, but hey, yeah, that's enough. No, oh, jeez, I can't. I'm going to get my pitchfork out in a minute. <laughs> I don't. I never get chased out of villages with pitchforks and torches. <laughs> well, you might soon. Uh, so, mm. what? Uh, I think obviously we've got a lot more shout outs to do, but Granny didn't write them down. So, apologies in advance that if we didn't get to you, I blame her. <laughs> I did my. I yes, did my thing. I put this little, you. 
blame me for everything. I did my thing. I put the little ticker on the bottom of the thing. I don't know how to get rid of it, so you'll have to persevere with it yeah. for the whole podcast. Yes, boys and girls, do note that he's got the ticker along, like Grumpy Granny told him that he should learn to do that, mm. and I showed mm. him how. So mm. he's yeah, done the right thing there. That's very good. Yeah, so I'll give you a tip for that this week. Yeah, go, look, give you some Scooby snacks by the sounds of it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so we're going to move on to now. Yeah, so like I mentioned a bit earlier, our YouTube video was very successful in our books, you know, like obviously yes. with our three subscribers that, you know, we've probably no doubt got Stockholm Syndrome. I think that you know, <laughs> we're, we're halfway decent. Um, yeah, we had about 500 views in the first 48 hours of the video. So that's actually eclipsed all our current videos So it, mm. yeah, since they've been uploaded. So that's actually really good and we're really appreciative of that. We put it down to, um, you know, probably kidnapping John. Um, <laughs> don't know how much he helped, but yeah, no, he's a, he was really fantastic and he actually yeah, went above and beyond of what I expected of him. He um, did, and I will say, John is a fountain of knowledge. He's just, mm, yeah, mm. got so much yeah. knowledge about reselling and how things work, and you know, he, he, yeah, you can learn a lot yeah. off that man. Yeah. So, like, I um before I, I jumped on the live here, I um took John onto the you know James Bond finds podcast. Oh, sorry, he's live oh, okay. thing in there. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to I'll promote John a bit to the you know the international market as well. Yeah, this guy is phenomenal. He's a powerhouse of knowledge. Um, a lot of his content, and this is what we're trying to make our content, um, more generic opposed to Australia specific, so we can actually engage with a lot more viewership yeah. and a lot more people and hopefully, you know, obviously reach out and make a few people <laughs> happy that, yeah. that they're not living in Australia because they have to put up with an octopus and an old lady on, on YouTube. <laughs> exactly. Um, but, and, like, but we should just warn the people from overseas because sometimes I think if they're listening to different accents, they're a bit hard to understand. Hmm. And, look, John talks very, very fast, but there's a simple answer to that. Just slow the speed down when you're playing hmm. it. Mm, mm. Or just make just put him on mute and make your own words up. That's what I do. <laughs> he looks like a well, very. You could do that. He looks like a very hyperactic puppet when he's on mute. So he does, doesn't he? Yes, mm, yes, mm. yeah. So I um I introduced him to I suppose a little bit of the UK market earlier. So because a lot of it, like I said, a lot of his content um is traversable. So you know, um because yeah. he's just a powerhouse of knowledge, and it would be a waste to yeah to keep him to ourselves. So by all means, come over and take him. <laughs> yeah, him. yes. Don't bring, don't bring him back. We don't want him back though. You can... <laughs> um, yeah. So we're gonna get to what grinding Granny's gear. So what's what's annoying you this week, Granny? Oh, now what did I tell you was annoying me this week? No, I don't know. Uh, everything annoys you. Old people everything annoys me. me. Everything annoys me. But you know what really annoys me is when I'm comping something and I go into the solds and here's something and it's sold and it's like size 16 jeans. That's the mm. title. Size 16 mm. jeans. Size 22 jumper. So what? how does that annoy you? How does that annoy you? Wouldn't that oh, make it... it easier for you to sell your stuff that's labelled properly? <clears throat> Possibly, but it annoys me that those things sell. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe what annoys the octopus is that old ladies whinging about stuff that actually takes oh. a competitor out of the market. But hey, maybe maybe someone is like just searching jeans size sixteen. Well, yeah, they probably are, but you know, it's. I guess I find it frustrating because I put the work in to make sure that mm. I've you know filled up as much of my title i mean you can put 80 characters in a title and i try to fill up as much of that as i can with keywords mm. and things mm. so yeah mm. i just yeah it just grinds my gears a little bit when i see it and i just think oh that's you know, you put know, some effort it. in put some effort that's, in, not, that's normally where i put my hostage demands are in the title and you know, buy from me or else jeans size 16 <laughs> and how's that going for you Quite lucrative, yeah. I've been Is able it? to, yeah, I've been able to get an eyebrow lift. So obviously, one eyebrow is higher <laughs> than the other. So this time next week, I'm hoping to raise the other eyebrow. Mm. Oh, okay. I'll be taking yeah. note of that. That's right. Mm. Yeah. Please don't, because I'll forget to do it. <laughs> 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 yeah. So I don't know. So yeah. So okay. So that obviously annoys you. So I'll, I'll contact the uh, CEO of eBay and mm. request that yeah anyone has jeans size 16 listed uh to take them out the back <laughs> yes yes give them a good spanking i say mm, mm. spanking mm. or yeah and tell lines, them, I suppose. yes and tell them that they need to try harder mm, mm. 
Mm. Yeah, because yeah, there's no such thing as more competition in the market. No, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so that's enough of you dribbling about stuff that irritates you. So what 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 do you have for show and tell this week? Considering well, that, you know, you're very very big on this topic. <laughs> I look. I was going to choose a different one, but then in the end, I decided to go with this. Mm. So I'll go back a bit because this is just such great vintage Australiana. It's an acrylic. It's look. It's only acrylic. It's an acrylic jumper. Mm. Um, and it's on the Mischief ta- label, which I'll get up a little bit closer. Is that good? Can you see that? Yep. Yeah, Mischief label, which is a good vintage label. Um, and they did a lot of knitwear and stuff in the, like, 80s. But, mm. yeah, that's just, yeah, real 80s, the sort of thing I would have worn back in the day. Just think so half, of our viewership, cool. half of our viewership wasn't born then. I know. I know. Yes. See, that's why it's so easy for me to pick up vintage items because I can recognise them because I used to wear them. Mm, mm. Damn old people. I wonder if it does smell like old people. <laughs> does it smell like old people? I can't smell. Octop- uh, this octopus no, it doesn't, doesn't smell like old people. Oh, that's unfortunate. What do you reckon old people smell like? Mothballs or op shops? <laughs> I reckon op shops and old people do have a similar smell. Not really. Just quietly. But yeah. So, yeah, if you, if you walk into someone's house, there's not an op shop. Maybe that's... <laughs> Maybe well, I got arrested for burglary. I just thought I walked into an op shop. It was just someone else's mm. house. I was yeah. following the smell. <laughs> yeah, well, that's all right. That's exactly right. I could have swore there was an op shop around here somewhere. Yeah. So for my show until this week, whilst I've fixed up my tentacles, because I've been sitting on them to see, you know, obviously, yeah, it goes dead. Are you adjusting your, you're adjusting your tentacles? Yeah, well, that's right. No, because like, like when you sit down. Don't you know, look you, down you, when you say that. Oh, that's right. <laughs> you, you humans, when you um, yeah, sit on your leg, you, obviously the blood doesn't run to it, so. Very similar to my tentacles, you know, all, right. all, nine, all nine of them. Yeah, obviously, if they get cut off the blood circulation, no, I don't have to worry about that. Anyway, so I do have to do a bit of a, a show and tell plus a retraction on what I said a couple of weeks ago about my my <laughs> beloved scam buyer. Um, it doesn't turn out that he was a scammer after all. He was actually just incompetent. So, yeah, I'll probably mm. invite him onto this podcast soon enough because obviously <laughs> he fits right in. Um, so this is what... Ooh, of just whack myself in the microphone. You can't, you can't hit me anyway. <laughs> so this is what I sold. Uh, hang on, where are I? Oh, there we go. So Look, this is basically, is. yeah, there he is. It, it's a Ben 10 figure. It was a heat blast. He's about 10 centimeters or four inches high. Um, I picked him up on a Facebook marketplace still, like a whole bunch of figures, and you know, they sold really quickly and really well. Um, as soon as I put heat blast on on eBay, um, some of them from Mexico snapped him up pretty quickly. And just a rehash of what happened is that this buyer accused me of not putting their address on because um, he didn't think that he needed to put his address on the on the mm. on the label. So he just put the street address actually opposed to his house address, so that the Mexican post wouldn't give it to him. So I don't know how that works. Obviously, things are a bit I yes, say it's backwards, a bit, but a bit weird. Yes, a bit, mm. bit, <laughs> bit weirder over Mexico. But mm. hey, you know. I won't be invading that country anytime soon, put it that way. Yeah, um, yeah it might be a good place to stay away from, mightn't it, for yeah, a while? Yeah, right. especially, you know, if you have to have a house number on your label. Imagine that, you know. Mm. We shouldn't mm. have posted nowhere to go. Look, really, if, if you address something to Grumpy Granny in Donald, <laughs> Victoria, Australia, it will get to me. Like, you wouldn't even have to put the street name on it. Oh, well, that's right. That's exactly right. There's only three people in the in Donald, so I suppose that's probably, <laughs> yeah, yeah, one out of three odds of pretty much getting it delivered. Mm. Well, you know, there's two extras today, so there's now there's five because of no, the visitors. Right. Oh, that's yeah. right. You got the visitors over as well, so you mm. know, the odds of being your, your weekly mail delivery by you know by pigeons probably been <laughs> hampered a bit because I didn't know what's going on. Yes. <sighs> so, what else is new this week, Renny? Well, how's your eBay going? Because I'm just finding it at the moment behaving very weird like the the tr- what seems to me be the, the traffic seems to be very weird like one mm, day it's mm. there's very little and then the next day it goes gang gangbusters mm, and i mean yeah. i know it's always a bit of a roller coaster ride but it does seem to be a bit weird at the moment i don't know whether they're you know fiddling with stuff out the back like in the what do they call it the back end mm, of things the, the ai well yeah Maybe yeah. it is the AI. Yeah. Mm. No, I, I, I've been very similar. I've, in one of my stores, I've got a, a return open, so that's kind of killed that store right off. Um, 
in, but in the octopus account it's yeah it's steady there's no it, you know it's not spectacular and it's not dead you know i'm not going to start doing a, a six-part youtube series like the u.s resellers do every time something like looks at them silly on ebay mm-hmm. um, but yeah no like yeah it's not not cause for a concern yet so I've still got enough money in the kitty to uh, fund my world domination aspirations. So, well, yeah, that's good. I'm very pleased to hear that. That won't be, hmm. won't be. What on earth behind you is that? Am I meant to be looking at that behind no, your don't head? Look at, don't, don't look at John. Don't okay. look at John. Oh, 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 oh. Less we talk about John, the better. Oh, okay. Oh, was it Figsy? Oh, we forgot about Figsy. Figsy, I think it's Itzy. Yeah, that's right. Figsy's totally alive, and yeah, you can check him on his YouTube channel. Mm. Figs well, if, game, Figs, so. if Figs is if Figs is on his YouTube channel, it's definitely an AI version, isn't it? That's right. From that's what exactly I can, right. so, yeah, from what so, I can see. So that that's definitely not Figsy there. So don't don't call the FBI or the Fed police or whatever you got in your country. So yeah. on, I don't even know where I'm going. Oh, here we go. So this, <laughs> uh, even the AI doesn't know what side the the fence it's on. So yes, no. That's right. Yeah, that's right. So AI's obviously got a little way to come because it doesn't know how to work a mirror camera. <laughs> No, it doesn't. It's weird, isn't no, it? No, it's a bit, mm. bit strange in that respect. But I, I think mm. we've, without further ado, we should start. Yeah, you know, that's another thing US resellers like saying on their YouTube channels. Without further ado, I watched four videos they this do. morning. You know? That's funny. You, they do say that a lot, don't they? Yeah, I, I guarantee. Like in in the comment section below, if you watch, yeah, you know, UK or US resellers. Put a tally of how many resellers you know that say without further ado, because I can think of two off the top of my head. Mm. Hmm. I nothing think nothing wrong with it. Not judging. Yeah. Not judging. It's just, just an interesting. They're tr- yeah. yeah they're, just, they're just trying to be more regal and more fancy mm. than us in Australia. So they're just trying to have a, a competitive edge over us, I think, Granny. Yeah. Well, maybe, yeah. Because I was going to start comparing what they say at the end. Like, does everybody say the same sort of thing, like, you know, Harry Tornado does, or I don't know. Um, what's, what's um, Harry Josh variant say? So. Yeah, so he goes, I'll see you on the next one, and he goes, Whoosh! like that. Oh, okay. Well, we don't say anything, we just like awkwardly fumble around for the leave studio <laughs> button and hope for the best. Exactly. That's right. Maybe we need, mm. a, we need to work on a catchphrase. I reckon we, I'll yeah. roll with you. What, what, what catchphrase are you going to roll with? We need Please a little tagline, don't we? Yeah. Well, I'm mm. going to steal. I've been trying to work out how to put it in, but I'm going to go with dominate your death pile. <laughs> Oh, what that's very good. Reckon? Yes, yes, that's very good. Uh, what am I going to say? I'm going to say... It's simple. I'm going to say, I love reselling. Oh, really? Yeah. Geez, we're not going to get very good with that. So obviously our subscriber base is going to drop next week. So, <laughs> oh, so dear. obviously, all right, so we're going to do another hashtag because why not? You know, if you like Granny's boring... Like, I suppose parting saying, uh, put down. Hashtag well, we should granny. if we did it. If we did it, we'd have to go. We love reselling, no, wouldn't we? We're, we're, no, I don't know. We'll work out what you want to say because I'm going to put a hashtag. Hashtag granny for whatever the crap that she's talking about, oh. and hashtag octo for obviously to dominate your death pile. Ha- hashtag granny's gears. Stop changing the hashtags. You're going to confuse people. This is what we can't take her anyway. This is this is why we can't take old people anyway. Can't work with old people, can't take them anyway. <sighs> oh, we got Figsy's been there again. I said, I've just moved back, so yep. you can't see Figsy. Yeah. Okay. Oh. No, Figsy's not. Poor there. Figsy. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, we, we did our Figsy. We'll give him a bit of a shout out. So he normally runs a podcast of his own uh, about computer games because obviously he's got nothing better to do with his life than other mm. PlayStation 3 games. So Hence his I hate new, to tell him. His name is Peter Pan. Oh, the boy yeah, well, who never grew up. You don't want to tell him there's a PlayStation 5 out now because his mind might blow. <laughs> is there really yeah. one out? Mm, oh. mm, mm, mm. Mm. It's been out for a couple of years, Granny. Keep up with the keep up with the latest. Oh, crikey. Yes. You thought oh, in future I'm going to reprogram your AI to be a bit more up with the times, I think. Well, I think you probably should. But then do I pass off as a real true old person if I don't do much? Oh, well, that's a, good, that's a valid point. I mean, you, you can't really be a genuine old person without acting like you do. So what you, what's your hashtag? Is it hashtag granny or granny gears? I'll Granny's put in, uh, gears. All right. We'll make it something obscure so no one can actually type it. <laughs> and hashtag octopus or octo. Hashtag octo for mine. Obviously, dominate your death pile. And what was yours again, granny? I love reselling. 
No, I see boring. Anyway, getting on. So we might move into the topic of the week this time, actually. AI and chat GTT yeah. and generative AI. So basically, long story short, everything's being controlled by AI at the moment. So when you type in a, something into Evo, so obviously you type into the search bar, they've got a um, a uh, an algorithm that actually works out. What was the algorithm name? Was it, was it Kerluck or Ker? No. Um... I can't think it was Kevlar, but I can't say that on YouTube because it's... Yeah, no, you can't say that or you'll get, uh, you'll get a Vero. Um... It's similar to that, isn't it? We should have written mm. it down. Yeah, we should have. I, I did write it in somewhere in my notes, but mm. yeah, oh, I can't work it. Oh, no, it's Krylov. Krylov. That's it? Yeah, yes. Yeah. I don't know. It sounds a bit Russian to me, but hey, mm. who's complaining? So well. basically, um, yeah, so JetGPT. Speaking of Russian it. and speaking of JetGTP, mm. so one, mm. I've got a few crazy friends that are a bit like... Um, I don't believe uh, conspira- that. I don't they're, believe cons- it. they're conspiracy Dude, theorists, I really. That. I don't believe that in the they, slightest. They think there's a conspiracy in everything. So when I said to them if they had a go at chat GTP, they just said to me, oh, you can't be using that. And I said, why not? And they said, because that's the Russians. They use that to get into and find out all your information. Mm, 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 mm. So all that's what some people think, yeah. Well, the octopuses. We'll mm. just we'll just blame that country. We we. <laughs> We'll um, keep the octopuses out of this, all right? Mm, okay. we're, not, we're not using we're not using your um, your chat t- GPT software to um, work out what's going on. So, yeah, so a lot of um, yeah, eBay is slowly rolling out a, G- a chat GPT interface in their listing. So, basically, from what I can gather, is I did a bit of research on e-commerce bytes. That's a, um, a a reselling website in America, which has. Yeah, you know, some um, reselling content, you know, kind of articles as well. I did mention that it's rolling out to a couple of the US, eBay US uh, sellers over there. I'm not too sure yes. if it's widespread enough yet, but it does. No, that. by the standard, from what I can gather, it's not all that prevalent yet, mm. but it's, yeah, on its way. And, mm. and that's right. And from there's some more, obviously, some horror stories because one that they put in the e commerce bites um, article is that it's actually rewrote what the seller. What the seller actually put as a description, it rewrote the form. Oh, so, no, did it? And, and yeah, they wouldn't let them change it back to what it was previously. So that oh, that wow. was a concern. So, mm. yeah, like obviously, like eBay previously listened to all of our feedback and changed things back to what there was. So, no doubt that will happen. So, because eBay looks after us sellers. Yes. Well, we like to think so. We do. Oh, well, let's, let's just pretend they do. <laughs> mm. we, we, we always pretend they do. Oh, that's mm. right. So, so I suppose, yeah, a lot for the purpose of this podcast, we're going to talk a bit, a bit about chat GPT and a bit about the AI imagery that a lot of reselling is to do. So I think that ADH Dave, I think that's what you're inspired by these days, um, yeah. he was playing around with some you know AI-generated pictures for his product. So he takes a photo of the product he was listing and you know brings in a, an artificially created background to that. So, Granny, what, what's your thoughts on that? Do you, would you be more inclined or would you be more drawn to... To listings that look like marketing photos opposed to actual natural. Yeah, see, I don't. I I think that most people, especially when you're, it might be different if you're selling new stuff. It's fine to have that curated, you know, professional looking photo. But for me personally, when it's secondhand stuff, I want to see what it actually looks like. Mm. And so I want to see true colour. I want to see it, you know, lying on a bit of carpet or lying on a rug or, you know. Lying on the beach. Yeah, you know, not lying on the beach. Um, yeah, I want to see the item as it is mm. so that I know that then I know that the seller's given me a true representation of what it looks like. Okay. I okay. guess that's the thing. Whereas right. when when you see the AI, you know, mm. that's been photos that have been edited with that, mm. like you don't know is that colour really that colour or have they brightened it up to look better in a photo? You know, yeah. So, uh, as much as I hate to agree with you, I I will compromise and say I agree in part. I think that yeah, the AI photos probably do have a place that you know, obviously, you know, if they're making, you know, looking at Figsy, yeah, you know, in the background wherever he is, um, <laughs> yeah, you could put him in a, in a field, you know, or on a beach or something along lines of that. So he's totally mm. not in the octo level. Mm. You can't blame me. But yeah, you, know, you also want to add photos of that that aren't. You know, re-rendered by AI, so you might have yes. to say, "Hey, look, this is 
this is the product in, you know, if you're selling a coffee cup, for example, yeah, you could add, you know, like a kitchen background to see how it would look mm. like in the kitchen environment or, or something along the lines of that. But, yeah. but you also want photos of the item that, you know, disclose floors and disclose those. Yeah. I don't think necessarily I'd use the AI photo as the listing photo that, you know, that you see as you scroll past. Um, I think that's a little bit dangerous and a bit, little bit misleading depending how much it like makes it look a lot newer, mm. a lot more shinier than it mm. does. But on the flip side, right, you know, would that be enough just to get someone to come to your listing? Well, that's the thing, isn't it? I suppose, like, it'd be interesting to do a bit of a survey to see what what would attract people more, like the, mm. the realistic image um, as it is or something that is highly curated and, and mm. um done with AI like it's a bit hard to I mean I know what I would go for but that's not to say that you know perhaps someone in the younger generation might actually be more attracted to that AI image well and I suppose it really comes down to marketing as well because like, you know that a lot of the you know a lot of the websites you buy products from or, you know or you, you you know if the generations are moving to an online shopping environment a lot of those photos are curated anyway yeah, yeah. so you, you know, yeah they are really the done up Photoshop and their photo rooms and all these different things to make mm. them look you know, presentable. Yeah. That, that that's part and parcel of you know potentially what might get you over the line if you've got a lot of boring photos of just the cup sitting in a white background, opposed to something with a yeah you know, like a, a, a kitchenette setting. <clears throat> then yeah. when you click into the listing and then you have your four or five photos of the actual cup on a white background just to say, hey, look, this is what it would look like in your in your kitchen or, you know, all mm. these different things. And that's something that AI could probably do later on as well. You could actually up upload your photo, you know, and say, hey, here's a here's a, my picture of my wall. Um, I'm looking at buying this painting. You know, what will it yeah. look like in an eBay listing? So, yeah, I might be yeah. able to, from a buyer's perspective, you know, like they do an eBay in Australia at the moment, is they actually have like my garage. I think you can put your license plate number in, they bring up all your car parts. Mm. Yeah, you might have, you know, areas in, you know, eBay later on where, where you upload certain photos of, you know, bedspreads or you upload photos of your wall and those different things. And that products that cater to that, you can actually use that background and, you know, kind of give you an AI simulation of how that product would look in that environment. Yeah. So yeah. How it would just kind of look in your own home. Hmm. Mm. so yeah like, like i said i can see the benefit of ai like you know like the imagery i suppose from the chat gpt has probably got a little bit to go and we'll talk about that later yeah um yeah but... look and i guess for some people too that do struggle with their photography um hmm. and can't and perhaps don't have an area that where they can take a good clear photo um without you know a solid background i guess um hmm. You know, some of those ones that, like, like there is an app I had, do have it on my phone called Erase Me, and that's good because it... If only it was that I, easy. Ha, 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 ha. Oh. I actually, well, see, I use it to, to erase the background so that I can make the images to put on my um, thumbnails for YouTube. Hmm. And it's great. You just click on it and hmm. it, you know, hmm. deletes the background. So, yeah, you know, things like that could be helpful for those people that struggle with their photography. Mm. So, yeah. Mm. Yeah, because I, I use a, a similar product that I'm not going to disclose because they don't, you know, they don't give us donuts. So, obviously, uh, but it starts with no P. Donuts. And I think a, mm. That's right. I think it starts with P, and I, I think a lot of people use this in their room. Um, yeah, so I use it to, to remove And, the you know, if you if you work for them, like, let them know. We're, like, we'd be happy to, you know, hey, give them a hey, shout out if you want to give us some sponsorship. We're easily bought. We know how to do ticking. Uh, rolling text now, so what yeah. all tickers, uh, so we can you yes. know, plug everything. So we, we'll give uh, what's it, the Trash to Cash podcast a run for its money on on uh, corporate sellouts. <laughs> uh, oh, absolutely! I mean, uh, I'm so sure cheaper. Yeah. Six pack of donuts with ten bucks from Donut King. We are, we are. We will sell it. We will sell the end soul for a pack of donuts. That's how, <laughs> that's, how, that's how we roll. But yeah, like I use that that software to to remove the background and yeah, obviously make the photos like shine a lot better. Um, mm. And and yeah, that like all right, let's look at the, the crux of it. That's AI, right? So basically, it's using artificial intelligence to to remove the background manually, yeah, uh, automatically. Sorry, then go from that way. And I've sold a lot of stuff on eBay using that that software, and I've not yet had an INAD in regards to that. Yeah. So yeah, like. I, I put a little bit of a blurb in there saying, hey, look, this is a product. And, you know, if I 
you know, I'm, I'm quite an honest octopus, you know, despite the the the, the looks. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll close in on any flaws and make sure I disclose the flaws and all those different things and put it in the title, the text, the you know, the description, all those different things. So, um, so yeah, it is drawn to it. However, you know, that the photos make it give you that competitive advantage over someone else that took yeah. their photos with a potato, because a lot of people <laughs> they don't know how to use they don't know how to use cameras, let alone I don't know how the yeah. breathing is voluntary. Yeah, like oh, anyway, yeah. I've, got, I've, got a, I've got a joke for you, Granny. Yeah, just to mm. break the thing. Yeah, like okay. speaking of uh, people that don't know how to live. What did the chicken cross the road? Uh, I don't know. Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the idiot's house. <laughs> knock, knock. Don't give up your day job. Who's there? Knock, knock. The chicken. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. That is so oh, bad. I know. Oh, got, like, so yeah. I'm going to be at, uh, I'm going to be at, Ca at the Canberra Comedy Festival this weekend. So if you'd like to get, get them now, <laughs> don't go. <laughs> that's right. Hey, hey, I've only got the one joke, and you've already heard it. So <laughs> save your money, save your money, and send us donuts instead. Yeah, exactly. Yes, don't all worry, donuts people. greatly accepted. Don't worry, I'll have to explain to Leanne after the show what the joke was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear me. Yes, I did think that was amusing. But, yeah, like I was saying, that I, I do think that... Perhaps yeah. you could ask Chat GTP for some good jokes. Oh, that's right. Well, maybe that's what we do. We'll do a Chat GPT mm. joke of the week. Yeah, we could. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, everyone just tells us how bad we are. We might as well get Chat GP to give us a, yeah, how good we are. Yeah, true, true. That's right, but yeah, yeah no. Well, I we think need that, the help we can get, so like, yeah, why not? Well, that's right, yeah. Like, we, we're obviously not attracting enough people to get donuts yet. We're not, we're not. It's not raining donuts outside. No, very sadly, no. could I have a donut right now too? Yeah, we could. I'll actually get one on the way of picking up the the squidlings from school. <sighs> but um, no, but I, I think ChatGPT and oh, sorry, like the, the photographic side of AI is probably gonna, yeah. you know, but it's going to get to the point where it's going to be like a race to the yeah. You know, Look, yeah, white backgrounds was not a thing a couple of years ago. Now every man yeah. or dog has a white background. Yeah. So I think it's going to get to the point where it's becoming oversaturated with, you'll have this random pictures like, you know, where you're selling a coffee cup and someone will have it floating in space or mm. or something mm. along with that just to make it more obscure. I, I think it would make it more interesting. Um, yeah. And, you know, would, would that make Google, you know, change their, um, their search engine to pick up, you know, Mm. Pictures, product pictures and all those different things because I, I think that they they preference um white backgrounds at the moment yeah they do still i mean i mm. think white or a plain color like i think gray is mm. quite a good color because it's so neutral um mm. that's okay but like yes it, it does have a preference for a solid background mm. Mm. yeah but yeah going to, to briefly chatting over chat gp i'm not really sold on that actually like yeah from the sense yeah, you, know, you could probably use it to you know to build a listing description, all those different things. But I don't think I think you would spend more time trying to work out the nuances, especially as a secondhand reseller. Yeah. Um, you know, that you know, write me a description for a coffee cup with a, a crack in the left hand side. And then it's yeah. just so yeah, you, you just basically it would be better suited to, you know, just write, you know, coffee cup, white, cracked side, you know, see photos as attached. Um yeah, look, honestly, I think when, when it comes to reselling, especially, like, if you, if it was, again, as a new product, you know, that's probably where it would be an advantage in a lot of ways. But reselling, when you are selling a used product that isn't like it was when it came out of off the shelf, you know, there are so many little things that you need to cover and you need to say, um, mm. you know, like, that jumper that I showed you before, yes, it's still got its mischief tag, but it doesn't have a size tag. No, that's right. You that's know, so you there's all those little that's nuances. Right. Just, yeah. Just write 4XL and hope for the best. <laughs> well, maybe that's something yeah. that um, chat GPT could possibly do. Like, yeah, you could, you know, if you didn't have the size tag, for example, mm. you could put the measurements mm. in there and it will say, hey, look, you know, on the basis of the measurements that you've given me, you know, this inch range is a small, extra small, yes. large, medium, all those different things. So well, that'd and, be and, really, know, that it would actually be quite handy. Uh, and it could possibly it give you like the different different sizes across the different, yeah, you know, the different countries mm. as well, like yeah, you know, UK, US, Australia. Yeah. So yeah, there's also there's always you know 
yeah, there's pros and cons for all these different things, right? But yeah, that's true. I, I do th I do think that you probably need to at least familiarize yourself with them. Yeah, you know, like, I think you would be very, very, very arrogant, like the octopus, to not least you know to research them and see how you could possibly bring them into your your thing, because like we said earlier, is that Evo was new once, and the, I'm sure as hell there's a lot of people that didn't want to jump on the on the Amazon or mm -hmm. the eBay bandwagon because you know hey they're happy to sell through the local paper. Yes. And but things are. have changed a lot. Like, That's yeah, true. exactly. And, you know, and, I, yeah, I think people will get left behind if they don't understand how it works. So even if you don't want to use it per se, mm. you need to probably understand how it works because if a platform like eBay was to introduce it on a bigger scale, like mm. you may have no choice if you want to keep selling on eBay. So you need to okay. understand how it goes. Well, that's exactly right. And it will eventually get to the point where the consumers expect it. You know, yep. that they they will they will see that the chat GPT or whatever eBay rolls out is the stock standard and anything that's different to that, they might be like, oh, this is this a scam or this is not really yes. what I'm looking for. It just becomes, yeah, you know, day-to-day, -day, you know, you know, life, I suppose, for lack of a better term. Mm. I mean, but, the perfect the perfect use for it for me, as mm. I would look at it, I would still want to write my title and my description. But hey, if I could upload a photo of a piece of clothing. Hmm. And the AI works out what what all the item specifics are. Oh, that'd be good. I, I agree with that, but I I can guarantee as yeah, I guarantee you as anything that you know that that platform would run away. That you know, if you get an iNAD saying that you know it wasn't an acrylic yeah. jumper or it wasn't a, you know a polyester jumper, you know, well, they're like, well, that's on you, Leanne, not us. And it's like, well, your mm. your software, yeah, you know, told me that's what it was. So yeah, there's yeah. always that catch twenty two that yeah, they'll bring it out is. all this software, but they don't mm. they don't provide the the fail safe to say, hey, well, look, you know, is there overridable fields? Because it, you know, it's mm. come back as they're saying it's a black jumper and it's clearly white with koalas on it. So yes, yes, mm. yeah, yeah. I didn't but think yeah, of like, that side of it. Yeah, mm. yeah. So it's something you need to think of, and obviously. Fingers crossed that eBay is rolling it out slowly just to, you know, pick up any hiccups that, you know, potentially come through. But, mm. yeah, but no, it's definitely something like that. And I was thinking also, like when I was doing some research, is that, you know, you could potentially roll chat GPT into your sourcing route. You know, I was listening to another podcast in America, Pure Hod pure Hustle podcast this morning. They are talking about um, garage sale routes and all those different things. Yeah, potentially you could type in your address into a chat GPT, find me, you know, 15 garage or yard sales in this vicinity and the quickest, most direct route for these. Mm. So you can potentially, yeah, you know, settle, settle these preferences, what you're looking for. Then, you know, chat GPT or another AI program, you know, goes through the database and checks out which people are having garage sales, what they've got advertised. Mm. And gives you a list and, you know, give you a, a, like a, a list of garage sales to, and how the directions and all those different things mm. to it. Yeah, yeah so and, like, like I said, mm. and so I think, when, if there, yeah, and if there are things like that that people it might be a one off thing like that that someone uses it and likes to use it and it's a good advantage to them, mm. then yeah, it's just that one component of, of how AI, AI works. Well, then they're going to like it and then they're perhaps going to try it on a different, you know, a different form of it. Well, that's right, and yeah, and the amount of people that tell me they don't like. AI, they don't want to use all these different software, but they're using Google. Was it Google? Um, what's the picture one where you take a picture? And it, oh, it yes, yeah. Um, Google Lens. Lens, Google Lens. Yes. Yeah. That's right. So they're, yeah. they're happy to use that, but they, they don't want yeah. nothing to do with AI and all these different things. And it's like, well, you, you're subconsciously using it now. You're just not aware of it. Yeah, and, um, exactly. Because yeah. I think that they're thinking of AI in the form of this, you know, intelligent, brain that's actually having a conversation with you mind you mm. you can actually have a conversation with chat gtp yeah well yeah i tell you you spend your lonely nights isn't it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> i have a little chats with he has a little chats with grumpy granny and that when i go back the next mm. time that he remembers me yeah well I say, hey. i'm the grumpy granny who talks that's to the right. octopus well, that's right. Yeah. So, yeah, there's nothing like being a bit lonely so that artificial intelligence remembers who you are. But, um, no, uh, like, I suppose that we better wrap things up soon because we're, we're running finite out of time. Um, but I, I will leave a parting comment in regards to the topic, though, is that, you know, I was, you know put a, um, a message on a Facebook group that I mean, and, you know, our beloved Tekken Sports responded. Yeah. You know, and I think he oh. said it previously. Yeah. He's, he said it previously in his podcast somewhere as I'm aware as well. Is that, 
you know, the first person or the first company to implement AO across the board is going to wipe the floor with, you know, with yeah. resources. And I think that's something you need to be aware of is that, you know, you, you need to have a competitive advantage regardless of what you think of something or otherwise. You need to basically, you know, what, what can you do that outshines your competitor? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, there's no use, no use like, you know, griping and whinging and carrying on about it. It's, you know, if it's here, you know, and it's not, it doesn't take much out of your day to, to learn how to use it, maybe yeah. 15 or 20 minutes. Then well, go from there, yeah, you know. it's amazingly simple to use, really. That's right. No, that's right. Yeah, you know, if it's simple for us to use, how easy is it going to be yeah. for thrift stores to use? Oh, absolutely. So yeah, I'll leave it absolutely. at that point. <laughs> but I will, um, I think we'll leave it there, Granny. But thank you for everyone for, uh, for watching. Thank you for having me again. Yeah, you're a bit perplexed, then. She, I think she's factory reset. Maybe, maybe the AI. Yeah, well, I was wondering what you were up to there. Yeah, no, because like I said, we're, we're on a finite time tonight today. Because mm. I, I got a lot of abusive messages saying, "Hey, look, you know, as much as we love John's bald noggin, please don't let him talk more for an hour." <laughs> so, oh yes, I think an hour is a really good. I think that's a good, a yeah, sweet spot. A good link. Yeah. 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 So we, yeah. we're going to try and keep it under the forty-five to an hour mark. So it's more. I you know, watched palatable. a podcast yesterday that went for over two hours. Oh, oh yeah. We're not going to do that to you. Mm. But we we might have a, a guest in future that yeah you know, might like a bit of a chat more so than John. So we yep. do come on. But I think probably not next week. Maybe the week after we'll have another hostage. I think. What do you reckon about that? Yeah, that sounds good to me. Mm. Sounds good mm. to me. She doesn't. She doesn't know who it is, but <laughs> neither do I at this stage. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to get the white yeah. van out this afternoon and start trolling the street. <laughs> so there. run if you see the white van coming yeah, for you. Right. That's right. But thanks again for listening to the fourth episode of, uh, what are we, the worst reselling podcast ever. Um, <laughs> keep forgetting what we are. Um, and we're very yeah, proud so, of it. Yeah, well, well, one part of us is. <laughs> so you please uh, make sure you like, subscribe and comment below because we, we love those comments. We, we like reading them. We like replying yeah, to them. We do. Uh, yeah, so if I like you, I'll respond to you and be nice. If I don't like you, I'll respond to you and be nice. And Grumpy Granny will, you know, chastise me. So Exactly. And, look, please remember, as we said last week, everything we do is all in good fun, all in good jest. And so, yeah, don't get insulted by anything that Octo might say. Of course, I wouldn't insult you, but, you know, Octo might. So just, you know, take it on the chin, put on your big girl or your big boy pants and suck it up. That's right. And if you needed some more knock jokes or some more comedy, let me know and I'll roll out the same joke again. Yeah, don't, please. <laughs> All right, we'll catch you next week. Bye. Oh, Bye. dominate your death file. Dominate your death file. I love reselling. Grumpy Gurney's gears. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>